Hello everybody, this is the Peace Security Channel. Now before you watch this video, it's very important that you watch my last video where I tested GData Internet Security 2014. Now this will be like a second part of the test. Uh, what happened in the last video is that since GData has a really good detection rate, I could not get enough samples to actually test out their behavior blocker. As a result, I don't really know if it's functional or not and since uh, they did feature an improvement in their press center that their behavior blocker has been improved so I'm really eager to test it out so what I've done is I've not updated it you can see it's out of date so that way I've managed to get a ton of malware through their antivirus scanner now the purpose of this test is to see how well their behavior blocker performs against uh, threats that they don't have signatures for so as you can see real-time protection is on but of course it's out of date and behavior monitor is enabled now this is what I'm looking to test see if uh, they can catch programs although they're not in their signatures with their behavior blocker now since I have enabled both real-time and behavioral protection uh, there should be no problems here regarding that okay this is nice unknown threat caught so I'll try about 10, 15 uh, threats this way and see how many behavior blocker alerts I get and how many programs it can actually block. I think that's a much better test. So let's try this one. So the first one did get caught, so that should uh, show you guys that the behavior blocker is working as expected. So now the question is how good is it? how many threads can it block so far it's only one out of three now there's another one nice stop program and move to quarantine that's what we'll do let's try some more and there's another detection there's another one that's really nice so their behavior blocker does seem to have improved a little bit There's another unknown threat detection by the behavior monitoring. Here's another one that they caught with their behavior monitoring feature so none of these are in its signatures right now of course a lot of these are but since I've not updated it they don't have it in their signatures and uh, it's the behavior blocker that's doing the job so let's see if it can successfully block everything I'll be really impressed if it does So I guess we'll leave it at that and uh, try to see if anything's running in memory. We do have some process. Here is one. And apart from that, there's another one. and nothing else uh, at this moment I have to say that I am fairly impressed it's not expecting uh, this good performance from its behavior blocking so that's interesting let's um, let these run for some time and then we will do a scan and uh, find out the number of malware that it misses so I'll be right back 
So it looks like uh, GData has found something else. So I will stop the program in quarantine. And now, instead of running, uh, okay, so it looks like something was downloading something in the background. That's going to be checked. It's nice. So I'll wait for everything to complete and then I will do a scan with uh, Hitman Pro and we'll take uh, a look at the process with Kill Switch. Welcome back, I was just starting Kill Switch when behavior monitoring caught another unknown threat. So this one is the main process I guess that was downloading the infected file. So let's take a look at our process now and see if there's anything that's malicious. Hitman Pro is still scanning and uh, GData seems to have found another malicious program. So we'll, again I'll stop and terminate it. So at the moment it's looking really clean from the outside at least. Um, kill switch is not detecting any malicious process which is really nice and uh, you know I am not seeing any strange things popping up or anything so we might be looking at a clean sheet. So I'll wait for Hitman Pro to scan and I'll be back with the results. Here are the scan results from Hitman Pro and it seems like it's found uh, two missing startup items and one Trojan. So the behavior blocker did miss something, it missed this uh, Trojan that's now sitting in app data roaming but nevertheless it's still a really good result for the behavior blocker alone. And uh, I must say that my skepticism was misplaced. GData does have a really good zero day component. The behavior blocker is pretty neat. So I changed my opinions. I have to recommend this product, so it certainly deserves a lot of recommendation. Uh, it's a great competitor to programs like MCSoft and FSecure. And uh, the really only thing that bu always bugged me and stopped me from recommending this program was its zero day and it looks like in, with this version it's greatly improved. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick little additional test. Have a nice day and be sure to look out for programs like GData that might be great for you. So have a nice day and uh, be sure to watch both the reviews to get the complete idea.